Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I'm here at Lei Gallery in Taichung City, Taiwan, with Kate Nicholson from Kate Nicholson Ceramics for her show, Takeout. Mm -hmm. Great to see you again. Yeah, good to see yeah. you. And I already know the idea behind this show, but I'll let you explain it. You can see we've got, and you're a ceramist. Yes, yeah, ceramicist. Yeah. Ceramicist, yeah, yeah, yeah. a potter. Potter, potter, potter yes. yes. <laughs> and if you follow us, you saw our long interview mm -hmm. and studio tour on my page and on yours, right? Yes, yes, yes. So it's ceramics. And then, and what's behind the name Takeaway? Yeah, so. Um, Basically, what I'm trying to, I guess, critique with this is, um, uh, so during COVID, I had, I started getting like a lot of takeout, like everyone, and I started, I just realized like my recycling bin just filled up so quickly with so much trash, and it kind of got me thinking like, at the time I didn't question it, but when I was um, making, I was making molds for another workshop actually, and I had too much plaster, and so. I, in my recycling bin, I had some, um, some like yeah. some of the, those kind of more plasticky kind of um, pieces of trash, and so I was like, oh, where am I going to put all this leftover plaster? So I filled up one of a few of those, and I took out the mold, and I was like, this actually looks really beautiful, and so it got me thinking, oh wow, look at all these these pieces. So much thought goes into how they're made, and I don't think it's just like functional. No. It seems that there's a lot of thought gone into how decorative it is right. as much as functionality. Right. And so I just thought, oh, I'll just put a slab over it and then slab of clay and then see how it comes out. And they came out really beautiful, yeah. actually. Are we able to pick it up and show Yeah, yeah absolutely, it? yeah. So you can see all the detail inside here. It's, yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, and so um, when I was coming, oh sorry. Yes. No, this is porcelain. Yes, that's Taiwanese porcelain. Taiwanese yeah. porcelain, yeah. beautiful. And so you just put the clay inside of it, so yes. using it like uh, a mold. It's a, it's a hump mold oh. rather than a slump mold. Okay. Yeah, so I made hump mold. So I put the clay over it. Yeah. Okay, oh, what And um, when I, I booked this exhibition space like a year ago, and I was kind of, I had, Lots yeah. of ideas for the yes, exhibition. I think we've been talking about yeah, it. but uh, they were all really elaborate, and I was like rapidly running out of time. Right. And so I thought I was just looking at these molds that I made that I just kind of done nothing with, which is also a waste, right? Like of this plaster. And then I thought, actually, these are like really beautiful. Yeah. Maybe, and I and I'm very passionate about like waste, food waste, and um, uh, this kind of trash uh, recycling, you know, non-recyclables. And I saw these and I thought, actually, this would make such an interesting, but like simple and achievable exhibition concept. Right. So, and, and I already had like some trash at home and I thought I can just get it from friends, right. just collect it all. And then I thought I could put it together with these pieces. And then I did the Celadon. I'm learning right now glaze chemistry. Yes. So I'm doing a, a course in glaze chemistry for the last year. Right. And I needed a project for that as well. So it all kind of just like overlapped. Right. So I thought I would do, I chose like a faux or cone six celadon, which is a true celadon. Right. Um, because it's clear and it really highlights all of the grooves. And it also refers back to the plastic of the original pieces. Right. But it really like elevates it and makes it very beautiful yeah. compared to the kind of mundanity, I guess, of these pieces here. So, right. Yeah, so I kind of wanted to show that these are just throwaway and show the contrast between these throwaway items and why we're throwing away all these like actually quite beautiful things, making right. them and throwing them away yeah. when they turn out that they're actually quite beautiful, you know. Beautiful. So yeah, yeah, exactly. And so. if you follow Kate on Instagram, you'll know that you're always updating on your new places. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> she's got great colors and it's always very interactive. Which one's your favorite? Yeah. And yeah, no, she I know you were studying this. So you I like how you've got it displayed on these pedestals. And then over here we've got more. Yep. And then these are different. This is more like a peachy color. Yeah, so the colors are all based around, um, if you see here, so um, I looked at the top four. Um, originally it was five, but I didn't really like the color. Um, yeah. So the top four delivery apps. Oh, okay. So Food Panda, Deliveroo, and um, the other one is DoorDash, and also um, Uber. Uber, Uber, yeah, yeah. Uber Eats. Uber so, uh, the names are all based 
that the, the glazers are named after like delivery turquoise. Oh, okay. And um, Uber Eats and uh, Uber Eats Green, Uber Eats Blue, here is the orange, DoorDash orange. Yeah, food Panda Pink. Yeah. So you can see that, wow. And I made very the pastel rather than the very vibrant yeah. colour because it, at home six, when you're firing at home six at electric, yeah. you can't, it's very difficult to achieve extremely vibrant colours. Right. So I made them all pastel like uniformly, right. just to have them all uniform so that they all looked nice, they all looked cohesive. Yeah. Um, and it was also achievable, you yeah. know, at, at home six. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. It's, su it's such a clever idea to tie it together with the actual yeah, delivery. Yeah. She's yeah. always thinking. <laughs> She's always thinking. And then this one, what is the blue again? The blue is, these two are both Uber Eats. Oh, this is Uber. Uber actually, it looks black, but they actually have an extremely dark blue. And okay. Green. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So it was quite difficult to get the kind of pastel version. Right. Correct. So I did a lot of testing yeah. right. glazes and colors right. to try and get those. And uh, some of them I had to use stains in the okay. end. Yeah. Because it's just very difficult to get that more vibrant color. Yeah. Uh, but the but the others, like the turquoise and the blue, are from uh, my own formulation. Okay. Color wonderful. formulation. Let's have a look at more of Kate's work. Wednesday the 22nd of November and the final day Saturday the 25th. The times are different so maybe we can put them on the post. Yeah we'll yeah. post it when yeah. we do this. So it's a really cool show, it's a really cool idea and as I always say sometimes artists see things that other people don't so you're seeing the details in a simple takeaway container that other people are just throwing the garbage but you're making something. So if we win the raffle, this is the one, <laughs> this is the one that I'll like. So Kate's also doing a raffle if you come here. Is it only opening night? It's only opening night. Okay, so get here quick and then you're going to have a raffle and then some people are going to win all of these pieces. Yeah, I might. I never thought about that. I might open it on my on my other days as well. I don't see why not, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's on all the days. Even all the, the days. Yeah. <laughs> so, but if you win, don't win this one. Okay, I, yeah. Because I want this one. It's a really cool show. Really interesting. A great idea. She's full of great ideas. Wonderful to see you again. It's good. Yeah. And it's a great gallery. We always support Lei Gallery here in Taichung City, Taiwan. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye.